talk negotiations. You believe they are serial, not episodic. Explain that. So a lot of people see a negotiation as I get something that it's a zero-sum game, you know, and whoever has the most power wins the negotiation. And we struggle and we figure out who has the most power and then I win, you lose. My experience is that I'm going to have a lifelong relationship with you. If you're a negotiator and I'm a negotiator, I'm going to try to build a relationship with you where this is one of a series of a number of negotiations. Now, sometimes it is one-off, but I've found that even those one-off uh, one negotiations uh, become serial because your friend or your friend's child I'll run into a decade down the road with a reputation for being unfair. I want my reputation to be fair. I want to solve for fair, not for winning. I want to know what it is you want to achieve and I want to try to help you achieve it at a cost to me that is acceptable to me. So if you say I have to have this, I'll price it in a way that I'll be recompensed for what it is. But, but we should both walk away from the table having gotten something. Again, to get back into politics a little bit, I think that's one of the problems we've got is that people won't let anybody else win. And really effectiveness in business and in life and in family is letting the other party win, helping them win in a way that you also win.